Railrunner crews are bracing for a very busy weekend. There are two big holiday events, the wine festival up at Bernalillo and Santa Fe's 400th birthday celebration. Many of the people going to them will ride the train. News 13's Caitlin McCarthy is live at the Alvarado station downtown. Caitlin? Dick, these, tra these stations and train cars are expected to be packed to the gills this weekend. Railroad officials are confident they'll top last year's Labor Day weekend total of nearly 16,000 riders. From Santa Fe to Berlin, these train cars will see lots and lots of New Mexicans this weekend. The two big events this Labor Day weekend are the New Mexico Wine Festival in Bernalillo and the Santa Fe 400th birthday celebration in Santa Fe. Last year, more than 15,000 people traveled by Rail Runner over the long holiday weekend. That number is expected to be higher this year with these two events going on. To help out, the town of Bernalillo is renting two extra trains for the Wine Festival. It's a lot easier for people to get here on the Rail Runner. There's no fuss about parking. And for a celebration that involves drinking, having a safe way to get around is important. I believe that there was a total of eight to 10,000 people that actually came on the Rail Runner to avoid the traffic, avoid drinking and driving. To make it a smoother ride, Rail Runner officials are asking passengers to show common courtesy. Give yourself plenty of time to get to the station. Give up your seat to someone elderly or disabled. Don't push or shove and no open containers on board. And if you do drink at any events... Well, I would encourage people to really continue to have a designated driver. Officials are recommending passengers also buy tickets online because you'll find discounted rates. Also, police and extra staff will be on hand to make sure everything runs smoothly. Dick, back to you. Okay, Caitlin, you can find a complete list of the train schedules and the fares at krqe.com.